So hello everyone, or at least everyone who, you know, watches these videos that I make. But, um, yeah, hope you enjoy it either way. And this is a new game that I've started playing called Greyhack over here. A um, couple of modes, online and single player. Um, today I'll be just going into single player as I'm still getting my head around online mode. I'm still getting my head around single player, but it's much simpler than online mode has appeared to be. So I have to delete my world and co computer again. And I have to say the startup menu is really good. Out of all like these hacking games there are, which sadly there aren't many, this is the most realistic I've ever seen. So here we go, we have to pick our username. My typing is not the best. Something simple for the PC name. And you will not know what my password is. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remember. Uh. So here we go. So, that's just some cosmetic thing. Um, as you can see, we don't have access to an internet, which is basically required to do everything. And um, apparently something's already using my memory, even though I've got nothing open. That's, so oh, okay, well that explains that. Um, as I've said, I have not gotten my head completely around this. I am still learning. But I have mastered the first couple of things that you have to do. Um, so first we want to get a Wi-Fi. We actually have a really good Wi-Fi of 96%. Um, so first we have to get up here. Now first we want to check what our Airmon status. So it's currently set to false for the Etho, I guess Etho, yeah, um, interface. So to activate to turn that to true, you go M on start etho, and that will be true. Um, now we have to check out what for the networks we have available to us. So we just do I list, I W list even, and then do etho again, even though it is with a zero, just to not confuse anyone. So for this, we only have two, I mean three even, I know how to count totally. And because this is nice, they're nice and easy names. So now that we have that, we now do air replay. And then we have to do B minus B, not B minus, and copy this. I, when I was first doing this, had typed it out manually. It, it's not fun, I will say that. Then we do minus E, then we get the name. I also wrote these out without copying and pasting them, and I only realized when I was talking to someone else about this. Fun. So now we um, get packets and acts. Now, if you have a network that has a power here of over 80, you should be fine with just 3,000 acts. If it's lower, you should go to at least 5,000, and if it's below 30, you want at least maybe 10,000 just to be safe so you don't have to go through the process all over again, because that was really fun. Um, then you just control C, and then you see we've got a um, file.cap here saved, and then just to clear the clutter, so nice and easy to read, then we do air crack and then we just do file.cap and hack off is apparently the Wi-Fi password for that. So if we go here, go here, then we go pack off and connect and I am apparently good at typing things out, especially when I can read what it is. So pack there we go, much better.
So now we no longer need that. Now, it is a good idea if you want to use the other networks for some reason, not entirely certain what that reason would be, but I believe it is um, in online mode, it helps hide where you're attacking from. Um, so that's always handy. The other way to do it is just go into here and all the cracked PCs that you get at a computer, It's I recommend using the root um, access of it because then you don't have to worry about um, needing permission or anything for moving files across. You do need the password and an IP address and it has to have a open SSH um, port available otherwise it won't really work. But now that we have internet we now want to go to our browser and set up mail. This is the most important thing that you all have to do. So just like go maybe Reaper, get nice and easy, and then maybe one, two, three, four, five. And now we have an account and then we get this email. Now I'll do that in the next episode I do in this sort of mini tutorial for this. For now, all I'm going to do is finish getting um, everything set up before for what you basically need to do for that mission. So then you, oh, oh it was because I had the space, wasn't it? Yeah. See, very careful. You have to be careful what you put in. So there's my email, and then you just choose a password, create the account, and now. It is advisable that you get a notepad it's over here and keep a note of all these things because it will be handy just to have um, things like this written. Uh, keep forgetting you can't control that, that is always annoying. So, this one is just going to be simple notes and that. Now another thing I could recommend for online is because these files can be accessed when you're getting hacked um, and you want to keep all your passwords and information you need um, written down but um, not so it makes you vulnerable then um, just make a notepad like on your PC normally and do it like that. So. So that's so. Just to recap everything. Um, first, you want to crack into your Wi-Fi. If you want to, you can follow this. First, you go M on. Do this. Like pause it if you need to. Then you do this. Then you do this. And. Yeah, saying 7,000 packets, but it depends on the um, network power. I'm assuming that's around about um, like 70 to 60 or so power range, roughly. And then you just do air crack. Um, yeah, so to recap, you do that. Then you go to your browser, make a mail account. You'll then get this email. Um, now this is short-circuiting the whole mission progress, but I'll be doing it, I'll be redoing it anyway. Um, and you also want to set up a bank account, because while there are contracts which you can do, um, the ones I've done only have given me around $200, um, dollars, I guess you would say. Whereas you can get up to like maybe 2500 from an account that you get, which I'll also show in the next episode. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I always would like some support and appreciation. And hopefully this video has been helpful. Bye.